Hi, Community Church. Welcome to our virtual Ash Wednesday worship service. We are glad that you chose to tune in. And just a heads up as we get going, at the end of the service or towards the end, we're going to be putting a cross shape on each other's foreheads. So you don't need to use anything. Traditionally, that's what they would use ashes for. But if you want to use something, you could grab some ashes from a fireplace or wood burner. You could scribble on your thumb with washable marker and do it that way, or, um, or even use some dirt from a potted plant or something as a substitute, but you don't really need anything. Just a heads up, though, if you want to pause this and grab something to use later on. So, first of all, as we begin, this is the first day of Lent, and how would you define Lent? Go ahead and see if on your own or anybody you're watching with knows a good definition of Lent. Well, what'd you come up with? What is Lent? Lent is a matter of preparing our hearts to celebrate Easter and specifically the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's a matter of asking God to show us our sin and our desperate need for Jesus. It's like giving up something that distracts us from pursuing God, and, and all of us could make a list of such things. Things that distract us from pursuing God. It's kind of like, as one author described it, a spring cleaning of our soul. And the purpose of Ash Wednesday? Ash Wednesday is, is sort of like a, a kickoff to Lent. It's about remembering our need for a savior and turning away from our sin and turning ourselves toward God and remembering that Jesus has conquered sin and death. So with this understanding of what Lent and what Ash Wednesday is, we turn to our call to worship and our invitation to confession, which comes to us from chapter 2 of the book of Joel. He writes, That is why the Lord says, Turn to me now while there is time. Give me your hearts. Come with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Don't tear your clothing in grief, but tear your heart instead. Return to the Lord your God, for he is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He is eager to relent and not punish. Would you bow your heads and join me in a prayer of confession? Lord Jesus, uh, we've sinned without considering how much you love us. You see our sins more clearly than we see our sins ourselves. Lord, you know when we are indifferent to your word, the Bible. How often we forget to pray. The times we come unwillingly to worship, and yet we turn to you when we are in trouble. Lord, you know when we are untruthful and when we think evil of others. You see our anger and unfairness to our friends. You know how hard it is for us to forgive. Forgive us and make us clean so that we can obey your call to take up your cross and follow you. And now, friends, when I say merciful God, would you respond by saying, forgive us. For the things we have done that we regret, merciful God, forgive, forgive us. us. For the things we have failed to do that we regret, merciful God, forgive, forgive us. us. For all the times we have acted without love, merciful God, forgive, forgive us. us. For all the times we have reacted without thought, merciful God, forgive, forgive us. us. For all the times we have withdrawn care, merciful God, forgive, forgive us. us. For all the times we have failed to forgive, merciful God, forgive, forgive us. us. For the hurtful words said and helpful words unsaid, for unfinished tasks, and unfulfilled hopes. 
Merciful God, forgive us. us. God of all time, forgive us and help us to lay down our burden of regret. Everyone say, Amen. Amen. And so our assurance of pardon, the, the pardon, the grace that God extends us through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, comes to us from Paul's letter to the Colossians in chapter 2, where Paul writes, You were dead because of your sins and because of your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. Well, I invite you to sing along with me, even if you're alone at home or maybe you're grouped up with your family or a group of friends. Please sing along out loud. Oh, to see the pain written on your face Bearing the awesome weight of sin every bitter thought every evil deed crowning your bloodstained brow is the power of the cross Christ became ancient Christian tradition on Ash Wednesday is to receive ashes in the shape of a cross on your forehead. And this is a symbol that says two things. So say these things after me. The first thing is, I am helpless without God's grace. I'll say that. I I am helpless without without God's God's grace. grace. And then the other thing that these ashes on our forehead says is, I am sorry for my sins. Say that. I I am am sorry sorry for my my sins. sins. So I encourage you now to take a moment, take your thumb, like I mentioned, maybe coloring it or dipping it in ashes or dirt, and make the shape of a cross on your own forehead and for anyone who's watching with you. And as you do, say their name and say, consider yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Mark, consider yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ. Kyle, consider yourself dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ. Jim, consider yourself dead to sin and alive in Jesus Christ. Amen. And friends, what a blessing it is to be dead to our sins and alive through Christ Jesus. There's another Lent tradition that you may have heard of, but, uh, but this year we're asking you to do something a little bit differently. We're encouraging you to consider laying something down and taking something up during this Lent season. So sometimes you hear about people giving a popper or, or something like that during the Lent season. 
but this year I would encourage you to use this as more than just an exercise or a diet plan. Instead, ask God if there is something that you can lay down that maybe gets in the way of you being fully available to him. Some ideas would be giving up TV or social media or alcohol or even buying coffee every day. But we don't want you to stop there either. I'd also encourage you to prayerfully consider taking something up, so, so doing something instead. And it doesn't have to be huge. Maybe it's replacing your TV time or your social media time with one of our, our Lent devotionals. We have three awesome options for you here at church. Or maybe it's replacing buying coffee with instead giving that money to God's work in the world. Or maybe you take up praying together as a family during this season for two people who you know are in need each night. Or maybe it's committing to writing two notes of encouragement to people each week during Lent. Take a moment right now to quietly listen to what God might be challenging you to do during this Lent season. And if you're with a group right now, we encourage you to pause the video and just talk about it together. Talk about how God is leading you to lay something down and take something up during this Lent season. Well, now as we wrap up our time together, let's sing this last song as a prayer. Great God of highest heaven, occupy my lowly heart. Own it all and reign supreme, conquer every rebel power. Let no vice or sin remain that resists your holy have loved and purchased me, make me yours forevermore. I was blinded by my sin, had no ears to hear your voice, did not know your love within, had no taste for heaven. And your spirit gave me life, opened up your word to me, through the gospel of your Son, gave me endless hope and Dependent on your grace. Keep my heart and guard my soul from the evils that I face. You are worthy to be praised with my every thought and deed. Oh, great God of highest heaven. Glorify your name through me. You are worthy to be praised with my every thought and deed. Oh, great God of highest heaven, glorify your name. And now, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
May the Lord turn his face towards you as you and I turn our face towards him, our souls towards him during this season of Lent. Everyone say, amen. amen.